Hello and welcome to Luscombe Mitsubishi Leeds walk around video of the PHEV 4HS that we have in stock. As you can see this within the 4HS it has the front and rear parking sensors plus the 360 degree camera. So basically you see if his house is reversing this one. It's in amethyst black. It's last of the uh, two litre petrol engine ones. PHEV basically plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Car will do you a good solid 30 miles on pure EV. And then what you'll tend to find is your, your petrol engine starting up, just trickle charge your batteries. And then once you're home, you can actually plug the vehicle in and charge your batteries up, which is the cheapest way to charge it. I'll just show you in a nice big boot. It's all electric on this one. It's got boot liner in there. And you've got a little storage area under here also. And your home charging cable kit there. So you'll never get short. And also with this one, with it being a, uh, a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle you've got another petrol cap at this side where it goes with your fuel so as long as you've got fuel in the vehicle it'll still charge your batteries as you're on the go what I'll do now, I'll uh, take you around the inside of the vehicle and let you have a look at all the features inside 4HS, basically the S stands for the safety features on this vehicle. Obviously your parking sensors. And then when we move inside, you've got a thing called an FD, FCM, which is your front collision migration. This is all your safety feature buttons there. You've got your lane departure. It's also got blind spot warning indicator in your mirrors on this one. And your little collision button there. It's not going to stop you having an accident, but it'll be a nicer one. Your mileage there, 9,320 on this one. Multifunction steering wheel. That's for all your media, so your radio and your telephone and everything. And then your bottom one. It's fully voice activated on this one, so once you've paired your phone to the vehicle, you just press that, you tell it its destination where you want to go, and it will download the route to the to the satellite navigation for you. So no messing about having to put postcodes in and so on. And then on this side, you've got your speed limiter. So if you set that to whatever speed, it won't go above it. So in this country, if you set it to 70, it won't go above 70. The little bottom one there, that's your cruise control, which also part, forms part of your adaptive cruise control, which is basically that button there. So not only does it set the speed, if anybody cuts you up or comes in front of you, the car will automatically decrease. Keep a safe distance with the car in front. Once that safety fit that's gone, it'll accelerate back up to its normal speed and maintain that same gap that you've set it to. Auto lights, auto wipers, and if we move down here, this car has heated front seats, heated front screen, heated steering wheel, no gearbox involved in the PHEV, so no clutch wear to worry about or anything like that. So there you've got your drive selector, as you can see you've just got R, D and N, basically reverse, neutral and drive two little buttons at the side you can actually force the petrol engine to charge your batteries on demand and if you press the other side when you're on the motorway press save it'll save your batteries but it'll also charge your batteries because the petrol engine is running also then you've got your four-wheel drive button there so obviously if you're in a muddy field or snow or anything you can actually lock it so it's permanent four-wheel drive and then you've got your forced ev button so you can just city centers just force it to stay in ev as opposed to using any petrol engine i hope you like the video and if you'd like to uh, arrange a viewing or a test drive, by all means, just give us a shout. Thank you very much.